Hello, and welcome to Algebra 1, Chapter 7.5, and today we're going to be multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. So to start out with the product of a polynomial and a monomial, we are going to be using the distributive property to multiply the polynomial by the monomial. Uh, meaning we're going to have some polynomial, and you're going to have a monomial out front, and you're just going to distribute it. Um, what comes really important here is that uh, you're going to be multiplying with variables, and so maybe you have an x squared and an x, and you're going to need to remember what you do with your exponents when you are multiplying. So here's our first example. We have 6y times the quantity 4y squared minus 9y minus 7. And so we're going to take 6y and we are going to distribute it to all three terms. You're going to watch your signs. And so uh, 6y times 4y, first of all we get 24 because we're multiplying the numbers, y cubed, because remember we add our exponents when we multiply. Then it's going to be minus, we're going to multiply again, 54y squared, and then multiply to the last one, minus 42y, and you're done with that problem. Okay, so let's try that one more time here. We have this monomial out front, and we are going to be distributing it. Okay, and so watching our signs, we're going to get a negative 20, a to the fourth, because we add our exponents when we're multiplying, plus 10, a cubed, minus 35, a squared. And that's it. That's all you're doing. Okay, so just... Making it a little more complicated here, not even complicated, that's not the right word. Um, but a little more to the problem, we now have two sets in which we're multiplying. So we're going to distribute this 3 into this first polynomial, and then we're going to distribute 6t into the second polynomial, and then we're going to combine like terms if we have any. So starting out with the 3, we're going to distribute it. So we're going to get 6t squared minus 12t minus 45. So that's what we get from the first one. And then the second one is going to give us plus, we're just going to tack it on here, 30t squared plus 12t. And now, keeping in mind that we always write things in descending order, we're going to start with our t squared and get 36t squared. And then our t's actually cancel because a positive 12t and a negative 12t are going to cancel, and then so we're going to end with minus 45, and that is our answer. Okay, same situation that we just had, but you need to be oh so careful that you distribute a negative x there. Okay, that negative x gets distributed, the 3 also gets distributed, so we're going to have 15x squared, plus 6x minus 12, there's the first one, minus 7x cubed, okay, see, make sure you see where that came from, minus 2x squared plus 3x. Make sure you know where all of those signs came from. We're then going to combine like terms. We're going to put the 7x cubed out front. It is the only thing that has a cubed. And then we're going to go on to our x squareds, and if we combine those, we're going to get a positive 13x squared. And then our x's was going to be a positive 9x, and we have a minus 12. And there's our answer. All right, one last slide we have here. If you notice in the very middle of the problem, there's an equal sign. So in this case, we are solving for b. So you're going to want to start out by distributing, just like we just did. So we're going to distribute b first. So we have 12b plus b squared minus 7 equals 2b, and we're distributing a positive b here. So it actually becomes a minus 4b plus b squared. All right. Um, I'm going to start out with by subtracting the b squared over to the same side, and hopefully you will see that it ends up crossing out, which is a good thing because we have not talked about how to solve those yet, so that's to come. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead, I probably should have done it on the last step here. I always combine like terms, except right there where I forgot. 
Okay, so we've combined like terms. I would get the b's on the same side. This is just like solving any other equation. Okay, we have this, and we're going to divide by negative 14 to get b by itself, and we're going to leave this as a fraction. We're going to reduce it. b equals 1 half. And you should be able to put b back into the original problem and check and show that gives you a true statement. All right, so there's 7, 5. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in class.